So in this video, rather than just tell you about the Naval Strike DLC and the new map names that have been released slash leaked this week, I thought I'd go down a little bit of a different path and give you some opinions and thoughts of not just my own, but Matt the Musketeers too. So we got Naval Strike and Second Assault coming out pretty soon. Um, I think Second Assault was meant to come out a lot earlier than it actually has. Um, but which one do you think you're most excited for? Because at the moment I'm looking at Second Assault thinking that's the one I want to play more than I want to play Naval Strike. What about you? Um, and there's a bit of excitement for both because I mean we've both, well a lot of people have had a chance now to play Second Assault on the Xbox One. We played it, you know, down at EA. So there's the excitement of Second Assault because well, it, and of course, they're all maps we play from Battlefield 3. So there's that kind of excitement of jumping back onto, you know, those favorable yeah. maps from Battlefield 3. But of course, with Naval Strike, the excitement at the moment is not really knowing much about it. That is the exciting part of it. Now, apart from that, I can already kind of tell it's probably going to be a DLC that won't be a favorite of mine. Obviously, I'm a infantry base player. So the second assault maps like um, Operation Metro probably will kind of be more things I want to play than Naval Strike. But at the same time, Naval Strike is exciting me because it's this whole new, you know, DLC we know very little about so far and is still kind of fresh and exciting, really. So it's a it's a tie between the two, I'd say. Yeah, I think that's the same for me. Although I am really looking forward to going back and playing Operation Metro, because like as much as people hated it in in Battlefield Three, it's still a really fun map to play because you can just literally grind the shit out of that map and it, oh, yeah, it, definitely, it, yeah. it, it, it was so good to do just like if you wanted to like say for example play with through with a weapon get the attachments that you wanted that was the perfect map to play and it still is now i think operation locker is kind of a really good example of the battlefield 4 version but i still don't think it's as good as operation metro yeah, Metro has something about it, which is, like you said, it's a good grinding map. Especially, it's one of those maps that towards the end of the life cycle of Battlefield 3, you saw players kind of uh, kind of moving towards because it was good to level up quick. And it was also servers you would always, you know, if you were doing a server search, you always knew if you searched Conquest, Operation Metro, you would always find the server to go on. And that is still the case, like you said, with Operation Locker on Battlefield 4, but it just doesn't quite have that same, that same appeal to it yet, which I think is actually something you, that kind of comes across on all the maps you and me for weeks now have been discussing bringing back our old series of jewel but the reason we haven't is just because there isn't that kind of style of map in battlefield 4 just yet that you saw with things like the close quarters and and yeah. operation metro so yeah seeing those maps come back into battlefield 4 is going to be quite exciting and for the same reason they brought back gulf of oman which i always think is because it was a good trolling map it was a kind of map if you did want to kind of mess around with helicopters or jets or kind of get behind snipers and troll them that was always the map to do it so again even though it wasn't a map that i particularly yeah. played it mm. will be a popular map again when it comes back especially on pc so yeah it's it's an interesting one the only thing that that we do know about sort of naval strike at the moment going away from second assault is that there's been sort of four map names i think of yeah four of them that that we know about now or we don't know whether they're the real ones or they're the working titles or whatever the hell they might be but yeah it actually came from ea shooters twitter page which is a russian ea sort of twitter page it's and an it is an unofficial twitter page though mm -hmm. i'm led to believe it's not actually a a genuine a genuine source apparently right. i mean so this that, is why bring yeah kind of questions but I think this is why there's a little bit of sort of i don't know maybe leak surrounding it or maybe like I don't know. It doesn't seem like the map names we got. I mean, we got Lost Islands, Nansha Strike, Wavebreaker, and Operation Mortar. Now, I think two of those, in fact, maybe three, sound like they could possibly be Battlefield 4 maps because yeah, of the way yeah. they actually sound. So, like, Operation Mortar is obviously one of the, the named Operation maps. Yeah, like, classic Operation Battlefield style map, yeah. Yeah, and then you've got Wavebreaker, which is like Dawnbreaker, uh, and we got Nansha Strike, which... I could probably see being the name of a map, especially with a lot of the names that we do have in Battlefield 4, but the one that confused me is Lost Islands. It doesn't sound like a Battlefield map. It doesn't quite sound like they've finished naming it yet. Which yeah, sort of it does leads... seem a bit of an ambiguous one, doesn't it? Yeah, Lost Islands. Seems yeah. to lead me to think that it, it should have... They, maybe these ones are the working titles of it, because I think there was the China Rising ones that were leaked before the real ones were announced, and they were very similar, but they've been sort of been refined and given a proper names that you'd expect to see in a Battlefield title, so I don't know whether to take them with a pinch of salt. I think probably, maybe half and half, looks like they could actually be maps, but maybe at the same time, maybe they won't at all. Well, it's it's like you said, it's looking at the, the history since Battlefield Falls release with China Rising, when we've had all these leaked names, you know, come onto social media, 90% of the time, as you said, they've been 
correct or very close, maybe the refinement of a, just one word or something like that. So from what we've seen, looking back in the history of the league title so far, th there's good reason to believe these could be quite accurate. And like you said, out of all of those names, uh, Nancha Strike to me seems to carry the most weight because as I said in, in my video, it, it is actually a real island in the, I think in the South China Sea. And it's actually a place that has been a source of conflict for a few years now so it's very similar to Karg Island which was you know a real place in the Iranian Sea and it has real historical military background so out of all of them Nansha Strike seems to be a, a very realistically named one and as you said Wave Breaker sounds classic Battlefield so does Operation Mortar but Lost Island sounds like it I mean, it could be, and interestingly, Lost Islands, isn't that the name of the third Jurassic Park film? I'm, I'm yeah, unsure, maybe. I think, it, I think it might be along those lines. So, um, uh, it could be could be the, uh, the the eventual dino mode or dino-related kind of source <laughs> we were all looking for. We can all hope and pray, but um, I don't know, like you said, it's you've got to take it all with a pinch of salt, because it's not from a genuine EA Twitter feed, and you wonder where they got that info from, but there is reason to believe that these could be, and hopefully would be, the, the real deal. I mean... Taking it from that, I mean, going back to saying they could be Battlefield 4 stuff, I mean, it kind of links into Second Assault. I mean, we played Second Assault on the Xbox One down at the EA headquarters, and we found that the maps were, were generally quite good, but we were only playing with about 10 players on each side, so we could only play the game modes that really fitted that amount of players. So we were playing a lot of Domination, quite a lot of Rush, and things like that. So we didn't really get to experience the full Conquest versions of those maps in Battlefield 4. Now, the way Battlefield 4 plays is, is very different to Battlefield 3. I, I think it's much more sluggish, and the decisions you make have a much harder influence on whether you're living or dying. Um, and that, I don't know if it's going to transfer very well into Battlefield 4 for a lot of the other players, because there's been good reviews from the Xbox One side of things, and Battlefield 3 was a good console game, but we felt that quite a lot of the maps on BF3 on PC, at least I thought, some of them didn't quite fit very well, and I don't know if those maps will fit into Battlefield 4, because we've always, we've always said that some of the map choices for Second Assault weren't really the ones that we thought they were going to come through. We yeah, thought exactly, that, I think yeah. we said Grand Bazaar should definitely have been in there. Oh, Grand Bazaar for me would have been a, a, a massive must, especially over think, something like Operation Firestorm. Um, Grand Bazaar. And Sen Crossing as well, maybe not quite so much, but Grand Bazaar, I thought, was just one of those maps you could always find it populated. So to find out that map wasn't in the top four most popular maps in Battlefield mm. 3 was a stunner for me, actually. It was very surprising that. But, um, but like you said, it's a bit... I mean, recently, you, uh, me and yourself went back and played Battlefield 3 on Operation Metro. And it made me think, I am looking forward to it in Battlefield 4, but as you said, in Battlefield 4, it's, you know, you move a lot slower, it's a lot more sluggish, but also the consequences, like you said, you die very, very quickly in Battlefield 4. And obviously, with the issues, you don't want to drag this up too much, but with the issues with the netcode and all that kind of stuff, it yeah. makes me think, would Operation Metro on 64 Man Conquest be just unplayable on Battlefield 4 at the moment? And unfortunately, I'm kind of leaning towards the yes answer. I think it would be a little bit devastating at the moment. So, I don't think... The kind of large games of conquest we love so much from Battlefield 3 of Metro will quite come across in the same mm. style in Battlefield 4. I hope they do. I hope they can fix that. But in the current state of the game, I, I don't know. That netcode, 64-man <laughs> Metro, man. Could you imagine? No, I just think that getting shot round corners is already a problem in the game. Even with anything higher than about a 50 ping and you're looking at having a really bad game, starting to get yeah. quite frustrated. And there's um, flashbangs, things like flashbangs and, and incendiary grenades as well, adding, adding to the... To the, the chaos, yeah. smoke grenades. It's just going to be, it's going to be interesting. It's going to yeah. be really interesting. And I think that's already being reflected. Like I think you mentioned it at the start of this video, uh, or the start of your video today that you posted, was that there's not a lot going on with Battlefield 4 at the moment. And when these two DLCs come out, I think they'll come out very close to each other, and that's going to give everybody a lot of things to work with, and a lot of things to then that are obviously new and, and to play with after a couple of months of China Rising coming out. So it's died down a little bit. I think this will rekindle some of the players to come back to it, especially with Second Assault. And maybe we'll give Battlefield 4 a boost back up of what it needs because at the moment there's so much negativity from the community. And I can understand the frustration that comes with it. But, I mean, it is a big game. And, it, I mean, maybe we just need to give them a little bit more chance to maybe try and redeem themselves with Second Assault and Naval Strike. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, after we were in that stream with... Uh... Damatros of the night, he was saying himself, you know, DICE are aware of the issues. It was interesting hearing from him saying, you know, the game came out and it just wasn't the, the kind of response they were expecting. So 
it is being worked on. We all know the, the, the news stories about EA and everything. The game is being fixed, but it's just one of those things. There's only so much you can do to a broken, you know, a broken thing. And they've said themselves, there is only so much tweaking you can do to the, the net code to kind of fix those issues. But as you said, getting back on onto topic, yeah, bringing out those two DLCs at the same time, it's going to... It's, it's going to be good that, as you said, there's not much going on right now. So we're going to get it all at one go, but it's going to be quite, you know, it's a shame that we have to have these periods of nothing and then all of a sudden eight maps all in one go. And then, you know, it would have definitely been nice to have seen Second Assault on PC and PlayStation maybe two weeks ago, you know, just after Christmas, just before yeah. Christmas, rather than all of a sudden being lumped with, you know, eight maps all in one go. We can assume there'll be maybe new weapons with Naval Strike. We know there are five, I think, with uh, uh, Second Assault. So that's going to be 10 weapons eight maps it's all going to be quite a lot thrown at the playstation and pc players all in all in one all in one go really so i think quite overwhelming yeah i think it's just going to be uh, a bit of a, a rough ride for the next couple of months because if it goes down well there's going to be a lot of players saying yeah it was really good to bring in second assault naval strike if that goes well because obviously we know it's going to have a lot of water in it and that's going to favor certain players over others yeah, and definitely, if that definitely. if that goes down well as a dlc that people like then then that's great but i'm definitely looking forward to second assault much more than i am naval strike oh yeah definitely yeah, in conclusion i Really agree with you there. Yeah, overall, second assault for me. Just, yeah. just that, just that nostalgia, man. I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah.